Hello and welcome to Children's Chapel. I am so glad that you are here this week with us for our time together to read the Word of God in the Bible, to pray together, and to sing out and make a joyful noise. This week we have a story in the Bible from the Gospel of Mark. Mark was one of Jesus's disciples. He followed Jesus and learned from Jesus as he taught the people how to love God, to serve others, and to take care of the world that is God's creation. Let's listen to our story this week. And as you listen, please pay attention for something that makes you wonder, that makes you ask a question or think about something that you may have never thought about before. After leaving the synagogue, Jesus, James, and John went home with Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed, sick with a fever, and they told Jesus about her at once. He went to her, took her by the hand, and raised her up. The fever left her, and she served them. That evening at sunset, people brought to Jesus those who were sick or demon-possessed. The whole town gathered near the door. He healed many who were sick with all kinds of diseases, and he threw out many demons. But he didn't let the demons speak because they recognized him. Early in the morning, well before the sunrise, Jesus rose and went to a deserted place where he could be alone in prayer. Simon and those with him tracked him down. When they found him, they told him, everyone is looking for you. He replied, let's head in the other direction to the nearby villages so that I can preach there too. That's why I've come. He traveled throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and throwing out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to God. I wonder if anything stood out to you from that story. There are two things that I would like to share that made me think. The first is how Jesus was helping those who were sick. I wonder if you know anyone who has been sick recently. Maybe even you have been sick. Who are the people that have helped those who are sick? When I was a little kid, my mom and dad would be the ones to help me. And if they needed more help, I would go to a doctor. We're living in a time where lots of people are getting sick. And there are many people who are helping to make sure that people feel healthy and feel better. Just like Jesus, there are people in this world that are working to heal our bodies. Today, I give thanks for all of the doctors and nurses who are helping to heal those who are sick. Maybe even you have helped someone to feel better when they are sick. Maybe someone in your family was sick and you went to hold their hand or give them a little cuddle or bring them something to drink or eat. We can all join Jesus in the work of healing in this world. All we have to do is pay attention to what makes us feel better when we don't feel good and to try and do that for other people when we have the opportunity to. The other thing that drew my attention in this story was Jesus waking up early to pray. 
I wonder if you ever get up early. Are you ever the first one awake in your house? Have you ever taken time to pray by yourself early in the morning, just like Jesus? Sometimes I do this. I like to get up early and I have a special chair that I sit in where I listen to God speaking to me. I pray. Sometimes I just sit in silence and pay attention to my own thoughts. I like to do three things when I pray. I like to thank God for all of the good things, the blessings of the world and in my life. I like to celebrate the beauty of creation. And I like to ask for help in, for the world and for myself and the people I love. What do you do when you pray? Maybe there's a special prayer that you like to say as a family. The next time that you wake up early, I invite you to take just a minute to start your day with a prayer. Let's pray together to close our time. Maybe get into a comfortable position. Maybe you like to put your hands together or cross your hands to bow your head or close your eyes. Whatever makes you feel connected with God and ready to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us this week for Children's Chapel. We'll see you next week. Go.